Hello Corvette fans from John Elegant and Keith Cornett's Mid-Engine and Corvette Forum and Corvette Blogger. Today I got a special treat for you. Behind me is the C7 2014 Corvette. It's called the Blue Line Corvette. It's owned by a New Braunfels police officer here in Texas by the name of Randall Lara. And he's here to tell us all about this car. Randall, come on in. Nice, nice to meet you, nice sir. Nice to meet you. So tell us, what inspired this car? Well, what inspired this car was a, uh, I used to go to a lot of car shows, and when I'd go to these car shows, there were different cars, makes, models, whichever it was, but they were all dedicated to, like, yeah, they were different branches of the military, uh, cartoon characters, comic books, things of that nature. However, I didn't see anything that was dedicated to police officers. And um, that kind of weighed heavy on my heart, and I wanted to do something for uh, fallen police officers and uh, that's where I came up with this idea. And it's a car just designed for officers who's lost their lives in the line of duty, representing them and uh, their families for their sacrifice that they gave to their communities and to our state of Texas. Awesome. So the inspiration behind this was to pay tribute to the ones that have fallen in line of duty. Now, yep. you have how many names on this vehicle? Right now, there's 2,225 names. Wow. Yeah. That's 2,200 and too many. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. So the inspiration behind this was to not only call out the names of the ones that have fallen, but also show the families that they haven't been forgotten. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. So, Randa, when you're showing this car off at different events, at funerals, car shows, what is the reaction of the families that have a family member's name on your car? Uh, it's emotional. Um, very appreciative. You'll see them, they'll come in and they'll start asking questions about the car and whenever they realize what it's about, that it's for their fallen officers here in Texas, um, they start immediately looking for their, their family member's name. And whenever they find it, it's like they get to be reconnected for that moment and, uh, you know, and, and just relive their, their, their loved one um, and see that they're being paid tribute to and, and not forgotten at all. Uh, what your car really becomes is like a moving monument wall. Yes. And, yeah. and that's the analogy I can see, like the wall we have standing behind us here at yes. New Braunfels PD, this is a moving tribute you can take anywhere. Exactly, it's just like having our, our state memorial wall for the officers and it's just, I'm just able to keep this mobile going throughout the entire state or through any, any state, it, you know, I take it to. Mm -hmm. so it can just go anywhere. Now one other really cool thing you do is when we have the unfortunate reality of a officer's funeral, you're in the honor guard in New Braunfels and you take this car and show New Braunfels is supporting that family and law enforcement community uh, as well, don't you? That's correct, yes sir. Um, now, one of the, the other things you told me you do is you like to take this to car shows. What's the public's reaction to this car? Very similar to the family's reaction. Um, a ton of support. They really like to hear the story of what's going on, what, what all the names represent. Whenever the public realizes that there's over 2,000 names and it's only Texas alone, it's kind of like the realization kind of sets in. It's like of how many officers have died in the line of duty with just within our state since the uh, first recorded death. Um, you know, they'll stop me inside parking lots, at stores or on the streetway, you know, when we're stopped at a red light and want to take photos of the car, things of that nature, and just get the uh, the story of it. And, and basically the same thing you're asking is, it's what's inspired. Mm -hmm. Well, and this is an awful nice touch you've got right here with the logo. Yeah. That is really cool. That would really look good uh, as your signature, I, I guess that is your signature logo, huh? Yeah, actually, you know, naturally, you know, there's a lot of state of Texas like with the black, white, and the gray, and the blue line. Um, but actually, there's a, uh, the helmet actually comes from uh, a guy that's locally here in Texas, uh, and his name is uh, Aaron Slater, who owns uh, Relentless Defender. And there, he does a lot of profit stuff like as well, you know, t-shirts and things when an officer passes away in the line of duty and does a fundraiser for him and he's, you know. That's cool. And he donates, but I contacted him to say, hey man, you mind if I use the helmet for part of my logo? And he was like, 
go for it, man. So that's I mean, great. I was, yeah, I was real fortunate that he was uh, allowed me to do that. Nice people step up like yeah. that. Say, yeah, they do. They, they know the cost. Yeah. Now you've taken this car to Corvette events in Texas, right? Yes. At, at Coda, up in Austin. I you've have. taken it Dallas Speedway. Yes. And uh, you told me also that you're planning on taking it to to the National Corvette Museum during the Caravan. Yeah. It, um, so we'll get to Tennessee, or I'm sorry, to uh, Bowling Green. Um, this coming August and go to the caravan. Um, while there, I'm hoping to talk to somebody with GM and uh, talk to them about putting out a blue line Corvette for- That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. so it'd be a- well, There's only gonna be for. about 3,000 Corvette fans in yeah. Bowling Green in August and yeah. uh, you'll be one more. And, yeah. and oh, yeah. you'll probably win a lot more fans when they, when they get to see this yeah. vehicle. It's an inspiring, awesome vehicle. Um, now that, the next question I gotta ask you is, obviously this is not cheap and it's expensive to maintain and do. Are, are, do, are you, do you have a foundation yet to so help support you or are you doing this all on your own? No foundation as of yet. Um, about 90% of it comes from my own funding. I do have some local uh, people helping me out. Uh, Concept to Creations does my printing. Frank Supply, I'm sorry, Frank's Automotive does all my painting and stuff like that. And then I've had Wheeling Engineering donate the uh, police lighting um, up until I can get a uh, 501 uh, nonprofit going, then, uh, you know, I'm going to have to handle everything as much as I can on my own for my own personal funding. Well, that's an awesome thing to do. Yeah. And, uh, I thank you so much for bringing this out and showing yeah. this to you. And I'll, I look forward to the Corvette, Corvette community seeing and hearing your story. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Randall. Yeah.